Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sugu and today we're going to see how an Azure function will interact with the Power Automate. Stay around. Before we start, I'm going to explain the entire design and I also I'm going to put some links on the description related to the previous videos that's going to be important for this one, like how to create an Azure function, how to create a logic app, how to create a model-driven app, and this one, how to create a Power Automate. One of the videos that we've built was the Azure function with class. Then we've created another video where I talk about how to create a Power App and then a trigger to call that app. Then I've created a model-driven app where the Power App is going to call the function and insert the data on the model-driven app. And today I'm going to create a Power Automate, which is going to publish in two applications. One, it's the Twitter and the other one is going to be the blog. So what I'm going to focus on this video is this piece of the Power Automate and the publish on Twitter and blog, since all other applications were built on the previous videos on which I recommend you to see. Now what we're going to do, we're going to the website powerautomate.com or you can put flow.microsoft.com and you can create also a free account. So I'm going out here to my flows, my flows I don't have anything and I'm going to create a new one. And the flow we're going to do, it's an automated flow. I'll explain you this on upcoming videos, I'll build one for, for each one. Um, stay tuned for that, subscribe to, so you can receive that information. So let's create an, an automated flow. The trigger that we're going to put here is going to be common data service, common data service, current environments, and we're just going to give here a flow name. It's going to be media. Create. Now we're going to select create. So what I want is when the Power App generates a new record on the model driven app, I'm going to create a trigger with a condition create. Now I'm going to select my entity, it's going to be YouTube, YouTube videos. The scope is going to be organization level. In this case depends on the security model that you guys have implemented. And now I'm going to create another step. And the step I'm going to create here is going to select Twitter. And I'm going to post the tweets. And on my tweet, I'm going to put the name and give here a space and the URL on the front. Why I'm not putting this as a media? Because the URL is not a media. Let's imagine that I have a field of an image, then I could put it, the image here, but uh, not the URL. Otherwise, it's going to trigger you uh, an error. So now I'm going to add a new step and we're going to publish this on my blog. And I'm going to create it. Create as well. The blog, I think I need to. Okay, it pops up here. Probably it's going to request on both on Twitter and on the blog. It's going to request your credentials. Bear in mind, this actually is going to be one of the questions on the exam. So it's important you guys do this exercise. And now I'm going to put here as well the name. And on the contents, actually, I can put my URL here because this is a bit different than the Twitter says a draft no and that's it that's it safe and safe we can a flow checker to see if we have errors no errors be great and now we're going back and we have here our flow created this is a really simple flow but now we need to change our uh, power app because I don't want to send the information that I'm generating on the solution. So let's go to Azure. Let's go to my trigger, my calling app. I'm going to edit, uh, edit this. I'm going here and now I'm going to change the name and URL for something else. I'm going to add some information here. I'm going to eat safe, just run the Power App. Now let's go to our model driven app. 
and we have the record here so it generate the record and now let's see on our see if the application run as well succeeded so we should have this now on our Twitter and here we have our tweets this is automated post via power automate subscribe to see the upcoming video so and the URL below now let's see the blog and the blog have something similar as well but without the image because it did bring from uh, YouTube so as you can see we've made the entire cycle from a function logic app a model driven app and a power automate and publish that information into our blog or the tweet this can be done with any other uh, information so I could call my model driven app or the function from external web service and this information can be posted on our uh, Twitter or blog this video was a little bit shorter than the other ones I hope you enjoy now you have the entire view of the solutions that we've been creating along the time and once again remember to check the other videos if you didn't saw don't forget to subscribe to receive upcoming videos and don't forget to smash the like button and please leave a comment if you think i missed something and once again thank you and cheers bye bye